Almost 60 years ago, viewers were introduced to the Robinson family in the charming science fiction series Lost in Space. Premiering in 1965 and running until 1968, the show left a lasting impact. In November 2021, a significant reunion took place. Marta Kristen, alongside her co-stars Angela Cartwright and Bill Mumy, donned costumes to promote an auction named Monsters and Friends, featuring the Kevin Burns collection with heritage auctions. Here, Marta Kristen sat down for an interview with Fox News. In this candid conversation, she shared insights into landing the role of Judy Robinson, delved into the personalities of her fellow castmates, and reflected on how she coped with the show's conclusion. The interview, filled with revelations, provided a fresh perspective on what it was truly like to be part of the Lost in Space cast after almost six decades. If you were a fan of Lost in Space and Marta Kristen, stay tuned to discover what the 79-year-old Norwegian-born actress had to say about her experiences portraying Judy Robinson. We'll summarize the key points from her Fox interview and explore the Lost in Space rumors that Kristen confirmed during the discussion. How Marta Kristen was cast as Judy. Marta Kristen's journey began in Oslo, Norway, on February 26, 1945. Tragically, her father, a German soldier, lost his life during World War II. The initial years of her life unfolded in a Norwegian orphanage until 1949, when she was adopted by a couple from Detroit. Harold Oliver Soderquist, her adoptive father, held the position of a professor of education at Wayne University. In 1959, during her father's sabbatical, Kristen made a significant move to Los Angeles, California. While residing in L.A. with a guardian, she successfully graduated from Santa Monica High School. Interestingly, even before obtaining her high school diploma, Marta's path to stardom unfolded. James Harris, the producer of the film Lolita, discovered her at a restaurant. Despite the offer to play the lead role in his controversial film, her parents, mindful of her young age, she was just 15 at the time, forbade her from accepting the opportunity. Despite having to decline the lead role in Lolita, Marta Kristen's journey in the entertainment industry continued to unfold. James Harris, recognizing her potential, played a pivotal role in getting her an agent. Through this agency, she delved into the world of television, marking her debut in a 1961 episode of Alfred Hitchcock Presents alongside her future Lost in Space co-star, Billy Mumy. The year 1963 saw her starring with Tony Dow in an episode of The Eleventh Hour titled Four Feet in the Morning. Notably, during the same year, she made her debut film appearance in Walt Disney's Savage Sam. When the time came to cast Judy Robinson in Lost in Space, the show's visionary creator, Irwin Allen, had already identified Kristen as the ideal candidate. Initially hesitant, Marta spent a full two weeks contemplating whether to join the series before ultimately agreeing to embark on the Lost in Space adventure. Marta Kristen's hesitation about accepting the role of Judy Robinson in Lost in Space stemmed from her deep-rooted passion for theater. At that time, her heart was set on pursuing a career in New York, indulging in the world of live performances that had always been her first love. As she deliberated on the Lost in Space offer, those around her found her reluctance perplexing. According to Kristen, they thought she was passing up a golden opportunity that didn't come by every day. They emphasized that taking the role could not only elevate her career, but potentially make television history. Marta Kristen's initial reluctance to accept the role of Judy Robinson in Lost in Space was deeply tied to her profound love for theater. Her heart was set on a career in New York where she could immerse herself in the world of live performances, a realm that had always been her true passion. As she contemplated the offer from Lost in Space, those in her circle found her hesitation puzzling. According to Kristen, they couldn't understand why she would pass up what they saw as a golden opportunity, one that didn't come around every day. They emphasized that taking on the role had the potential not only to elevate her career, but also to play a part in making television history. 
Kristen Screen tested for a role in The Sound of Music. The Sound of Music, a timeless musical drama film that resonated with audiences around the world, made its cinematic debut in 1965. The mastermind behind its direction and production was none other than the talented Robert Wise. The star-studded cast included the iconic Julie Andrews, who portrayed the lead role alongside Richard Hayden, Peggy Wood, Christopher Plummer, Eleanor Parker, and Charmian Carr. Angela Cartwright graced the screen as Brigitte von Trapp, adding her own touch to the ensemble. Interestingly, the casting process for The Sound of Music had its share of anecdotes. Marta Kristen, known for her role in Lost in Space, underwent a screen test in hopes of joining the stellar cast. Unfortunately, she was informed that she was deemed too sexy for the role. In a candid revelation, Kristen shared with Fox that she never perceived herself as sexy. Instead, she identified with being a Norwegian Midwesterner, showcasing the diversity of the casting process and the subjective nature of Hollywood standards. As the film unfolded on the big screen, audiences were captivated not only by the enchanting story and memorable performances, but also by the behind-the-scenes dynamics that shaped the cast. Angela Cartwright's presence, bridging the gap between Lost in Space and The Sound of Music, added an intriguing layer to the film's legacy. She thought her Judy Robinson character was underused. In the revealing interview with Fox, Marta Kristen delved into her creative aspirations and reflected on what she would have done differently with her character, Judy. Kristen expressed a desire to infuse Judy's character with a touch of the literary, envisioning her walking around and quoting Shakespeare. This idea stemmed from Kristen's personal connection to the Bard's works, a passion that had been cultivated since her early childhood. It turns out that theater held a special place in Kristen's heart from a young age. The allure of the stage captivated her, inspiring dreams of a future where she could bring characters to life in front of a live audience. Her affinity for Shakespearean literature was apparent even in her formative years, as she began reading the works of the renowned playwright at an early age. Among the various Shakespearean plays, Kristen harbored a particular fondness for Macbeth, showcasing a sophisticated taste for the dramatic and tragic elements that Shakespeare masterfully wove into his narratives. In addition to her desire for Judy to quote Shakespeare, Marta Kristen envisioned a deeper exploration of the character dynamics within Lost in Space. Specifically, Kristen expressed a wish for the relationship between Judy and Major West, portrayed by Mark Goddard, to have been more extensively developed. In her perspective, amplifying the significance of this relationship could have added an intriguing layer to the show, especially considering the familial context of the Robinsons and the broader socio-cultural shifts of the 1960s. Kristen's insight into the potential importance of Judy and Major West's relationship within the Robinson family reflects a keen awareness of the evolving social landscape during the show's era. The 1960s were marked by transformative changes in societal norms and relationships, and television often served as a mirror reflecting these shifts. By delving deeper into the connection between Judy and Major West, the show could have provided a nuanced portrayal of interpersonal dynamics, capturing the essence of the times. As fans revisit Lost in Space, they can now ponder the untapped potential of Judy and Major West's relationship, contemplating how it might have influenced the narrative trajectory and added a layer of complexity to the Robinson family dynamics. Kristen had reservations about the evolving direction of Lost in Space. Despite the overall success of Lost in Space, the journey to bring the series to life was not without its challenges. The initial tone of the show, characterized by a more serious atmosphere in season one, took an unexpected turn with the emergence of Dr. Smith, played by Jonathan Harris, as a comedic force. Dr. Smith's antics, often entangled with Will, Bill Mumy, and the robot, shifted the dynamics making the trio a central focus of many episodes. 
Marta Kristen candidly revealed that she had reservations about the evolving direction of Lost in Space during that period. As the series leaned into a more comedic tone with the misadventures of Dr. Smith, Will, and the robot, Kristen, who portrayed Judy Robinson, expressed concerns about the impact on her role in the unfolding narrative. Marta Kristen, reflecting on the evolution of Lost in Space, shared insights about her initial optimism and subsequent disappointment as the show progressed. Speaking to Closer Weekly, she expressed her disappointment in not having a substantial role in the second and third years of the series, noting a notable shift in the show's focus. In the beginning, we had a really nice relationship, and I thought it was going in a good direction, Kristen explained. However, her enthusiasm waned as the show transitioned away from the family-oriented dynamic that characterized the early episodes. The spotlight increasingly shifted towards the comedic interplay between the robot and Dr. Smith, sidelining the original Space Family Robinson concept. Kristen suggested that part of the reason for this shift lay in the ease with which writers found it to develop storylines centered around the robot and Dr. Smith. According to her, crafting narratives around the family dynamic proved more challenging for the writers. This creative decision, while simplifying the storytelling process, had the unintended consequence of sidelining the core family relationships that initially defined the show. Marta Kristen's perspective on the evolving dynamics of Lost in Space also touched upon the undeniable talent of Jonathan Harris. She acknowledged that Harris's acting prowess was irresistibly captivating and played a significant role in the show's transformation. Jonathan Harris made it very easy, Kristen explained. Harris's contribution went beyond delivering lines as written. He took the initiative to rewrite many of his scenes. His creative alterations, such as endearingly referring to the robot as a bubble-headed booby, became iconic elements of the show. Kristen pointed out that Harris's instinctive understanding of the need for his character to evolve played a crucial role in the success of his portrayal. Harris's transformation from a serious villain to a character with a heart of gold injected a new dynamic into the series. Kristen noted that Harris recognized the necessity of adapting his role to the changing narrative landscape. By embracing a more comedic and nuanced portrayal, he endeared himself to the audience and ensured his character's survival on the show. Marta Kristen reiterated her observations about the changing dynamics of Lost in Space in an interview with the Burlington County Times. Expressing a sentiment similar to her previous remarks, she candidly addressed the challenges she faced as an actor when reading scripts for the show. I'd read a script and often had nothing to do, Kristen admitted. The transformation of the series after the first season was palpable marked by a noticeable shift in focus toward the comedic trio of Dr. Smith, Will, and the robot. This transition, according to Kristen, altered the show's essence from a science fiction adventure to a realm of fantasy with increasingly whimsical and sometimes silly plot lines. However, despite the evolving nature of the show, Kristen acknowledged the inherent fun in the series and commended its original premise of a family navigating the challenges of being lost in space. The core concept, which initially drew viewers into the Robinson family's interstellar escapades, remained a strong foundation even as the narrative took unexpected turns. She loved her cast members deeply. Marta Kristen's affection for her lost-in-space castmates shines through as she shares insights into the unique dynamics within the ensemble. According to Kristen, the camaraderie among the cast was profound, and she expressed love for each and every one of her co-stars. Guy Williams, known for his role as John Robinson, left a lasting impression on Kristen as a great gentleman and an exceptional music teacher. She fondly recalled the constant presence of classical music emanating from Williams's dressing room, showcasing his passion for the art. Another castmate, June Lockhart, not only shared the screen, but also imparted a valuable skill, teaching Kristen how to play Scrabble.
Describing Lockhart as an extraordinary woman, Kristen acknowledged her multifaceted talents and accomplishments. Jonathan Harris, who portrayed the iconic Dr. Zachary Smith, played a pivotal role in Kristen's understanding of professionalism on set. Beyond his on-screen character, Harris instilled in her the importance of respecting everyone from cast to crew. He emphasized that the best way to demonstrate love for one's colleagues in the show business realm was by being punctual, knowing lines thoroughly and not squandering anyone's time. Bill Moomy and Angela Cartwright, whom Kristen affectionately described as the sweetest, contributed to the camaraderie in unique ways. Kristen introduced Bill Moomy to the music of Bob Dylan, creating a musical connection between them. The shared experience of singing Dylan's songs further strengthened their bond. Angela Cartwright, who played the character of Penny Robinson, added her own sweetness to the mix, fostering a warm and harmonious atmosphere on set. Mark Goddard, known for his role as Major Don West, held a special place in Kristen's memories. She characterized him as someone with an infectious sense of humor, capable of making her laugh until she couldn't breathe. This lighthearted dynamic provided a counterpoint to the challenges of filming, creating a positive and enjoyable work environment. In recounting these relationships, Kristen provides fans with a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes camaraderie that contributed to the magic of Lost in Space. The diverse personalities and talents of the cast not only enriched the show, but also created lasting bonds that endured beyond the confines of the Jupiter-2 spacecraft. Marta Kristen's fond reminiscence of her time with the Lost in Space cast extends beyond the on-screen chemistry, emphasizing the familial bonds that developed among the ensemble. Despite the inevitable occasional arguments and disagreements that come with close collaboration, the cast, in Kristen's words, treated each other like family. One poignant testament to this familial love unfolded during the last encounter between Kristen and her co-star, Jonathan Harris. Following a commercial shoot, Harris, in a heartfelt gesture, approached Kristen, enveloping her in a warm embrace. As they walked together, he praised the commercial she had just completed, showering her with encouragement. This touching moment crystallized the genuine affection that characterized their relationship. Even after their time on Lost in Space concluded, Kristen and Harris remained steadfast friends for many years. Harris, known for his role as Dr. Zachary Smith, consistently made Kristen feel special, leaving an indelible mark on their enduring friendship. The passing of Jonathan Harris in 2002 marked a significant loss, but it also opened a new chapter in Kristen's life. In the aftermath of Harris's death, Kristen found solace in connecting with his widow, Gertrude. Strikingly, Gertrude's presence resonated with Kristen, reminding her profoundly of her own mother. Their friendship deepened over the years, creating a bond that transcended the loss of their mutual friend. When Gertrude passed away a few years later, Kristen honored her memory by adopting Gertrude's dog, perpetuating the connection between their lives in a heartwarming way. Reflecting on her overall experience as a Lost in Space cast member, Kristen expressed gratitude for the invaluable lessons and connections she gained. In an interview with Fox, she emphasized the sense of ensemble and togetherness that permeated the show offering a glimpse into the collaborative spirit that defined their work on set. Beyond the professional growth, Kristen cherishes the enduring friendships forged with her co-stars, how she coped when the show ended. The untimely demise of Lost in Space came as a shock to Marta Kristen, who vividly recalls the moment when she received the phone call delivering the news of the show's cancellation. The news left her momentarily speechless, a sentiment likely shared by the entire cast and crew. At that initial juncture, the reason behind the abrupt end to the beloved series remained shrouded in mystery. As time unfolded, the cast eventually unraveled the perplexing circumstances surrounding the cancellation. It was revealed that the decision was linked to Irwin Allen's ongoing conflict with CBS. 
The network, seemingly dissatisfied with the quantity of scripts provided by Irwin, demanded six scripts within a specified time frame. However, logistical challenges emerged as Irwin, juggling multiple projects simultaneously, found it difficult to meet the network's script production expectations. Intriguingly, Despite lost in space, enjoying favorable ratings, and boasting a devoted fan base, the financial intricacies of production likely played a pivotal role in the show's cancellation. The colossal expense associated with bringing the intergalactic adventures of the Robinson family to life on the small screen may have contributed to the challenging decision to pull the plug. Despite the passage of almost 60 years since Lost in Space first graced television screens, Marta Kristen remains pleasantly surprised whenever she learns that a new generation is discovering and embracing the series. In a world now saturated with cutting-edge CGI and technological marvels, Kristen acknowledges that, by today's standards, the show may appear simple. However, the enduring ability of people to connect with the series brings her immense joy. For Kristen, Lost in Space represents more than just a television show. It encapsulates a bygone era, a simpler time that holds a special place in the history of television. The fact that audiences, both old and new, continue to find resonance in the intergalactic adventures of the Robinson family speaks to the timeless quality of the storytelling and the characters. Kristen's appreciation for the enduring appeal of Lost in Space is rooted in the nostalgia it evokes, conjuring memories of a moment in time that was pivotal in shaping the landscape of television. In reflecting on those days, Kristen speaks with genuine warmth in her heart. The camaraderie among the cast, the challenges and triumphs of filming, and the connections forged during that period remain etched in her memory. The fact that the show continues to find an audience, transcending generational boundaries, adds an extra layer of significance to Kristen's reflections. As she contemplates the enduring legacy of Lost in Space, Kristen recognizes that the series has become a cultural touchstone, a piece of television history that resonates across decades. In a world where entertainment options abound, the ability of a classic like Lost in Space to captivate and endure is a testament to its enduring charm and the lasting impact it has had on viewers of all ages. Marta Kristen, reflecting on the Lost in Space reboot on Netflix, had previously shared her hopes for what the remake could offer to a new generation of viewers exploring Lost in Space for the first time. In an interview with the Burlington County Times, she expressed her excitement, saying, It sounds interesting, and they are making ten episodes for the first season. I might be interested in a role, but it doesn't necessarily have to be Judy Robinson. I hope fans of the original show won't be disappointed. They have a great love for the original and are truly a part of the Lost in Space family. The prospect of a modern adaptation brings a sense of anticipation, and Kristen's openness to potentially being involved in the project adds an intriguing dimension. Her sentiments reflect not only the curiosity surrounding the reboot, but also the enduring affection fans have for the original series. After the conclusion of Lost in Space, Marta Kristen's journey in Hollywood continued, marking the beginning of a lasting and varied career in the entertainment industry. Despite the challenges and ever-evolving nature of Hollywood, Kristen looks back on her time on the set of Lost in Space as nothing short of a dream come true. In her own words, Kristen describes the experience as surreal, stating, It really was a dream. The magnitude of being part of a beloved and iconic series in the realm of science fiction was almost too good to believe. Kristen's lifelong aspiration to act found fulfillment on the set of Lost in Space, creating a significant chapter in her professional journey. The dreamlike quality of Kristen's experience on Lost in Space serves as a testament to the transformative power of pursuing one's passions and the unpredictable magical journey that a career in Hollywood can unfold. As Kristen navigated the post-lost-in-space landscape, 
Her enduring presence in the entertainment industry echoes the impact of a dream fulfilled, with each subsequent role and project contributing to the rich tapestry of her Hollywood career. As we wrap up this video, we're curious to hear from you. Were you a fan of Lost in Space? If so, what are some of your cherished memories from the series? Drop your thoughts in the comments below to let us know. If you found this video enjoyable, take a moment to show some support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, ensuring you stay in the loop for all our latest and upcoming videos. Until next time, take care.